nothing happens without a connector. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. I wanted to discuss a circumstance that has to do with business, but it comes from the nonprofit end of business because I had a really great conversation uh, yesterday with Frank and Teresa Matz of uh, Legacy Families and Leadership and they're a really great organization. You'll get to hear it if you go to grantspassvip.com and subscribe. You'll get to you'll get to hear it when it comes out. It's not ready yet, but uh, in in the next handful of episodes, they'll th theirs will be uh, will be available to hear. It's a really great conversation. But one of the things I noticed was a lot of the things that he does. Frank specifically, because he's he's kind of the one that jumps around to the different networks in town, and he has a. a a natural propensity to make connections. And connections is a huge secret of life, let alone of business. If you can find a way to be the connector or to know the connector, then that is how you find what you need out of life. Because it really, it's about who, not how, right? It's about who can help you do what you need to do versus going and learning how to do everything yourself from scratch. There's only so much life, you can't learn it all on your own. So you gotta find those connectors, find those people who can find the people who can do the things that are gonna help you reach your goals in life and, and take you to the next level. So Frank, for an example, knows a whole lot of people in the nonprofit realm in terms of charities and so forth in the area. Uh, and one of the things that he did, one of the things were, well, let me take it back a little bit. Here in Oregon, and a lot, I know along uh, a lot of the western states of the United States currently, this is 2023 that I'm filming this, currently we're facing a huge homeless epidemic. Just large amounts of people that are choosing to go uh, without a home right now and living in a tent or what have you and uh, just just living that life. And the lo there's reasons why it's more now <laughs> than there were before, and there are many things that go into that, but I'm not gonna get into all the, all the politics and stuff behind that. The, the problem is, is, is how is the everyday person handling it? How, where are the actual solutions? Now, there are solutions, but they tend to be spaced out. There are d different solutions for different types of people, uh, different solutions to different problems, whether you have a, uh, if you have an, any type of substance abuse issue, or whether you have a, uh, a a mental a mental disease that needs being taken care of, or or a spiritual thing, or whatever, there are different groups that can handle each of those things. But it's not like the police and the, love the police, but the it's not like the police are going, you know, tent to tent and lining these people up. With uh, with the right charities, it's really not their not their job, and it's it's not it's not one of the things. At least our locals want to be doing that, or police or, or uh, county sheriffs. So Frank is one that's actually done this. I haven't met many people that have. He went out and talked to people in these tents and found the ones that don't want to be there, that are looking for solutions, and he's helped line them up with the different solutions here in this county. He's, all he is is a connector. It's not like the solutions didn't exist. And it's not like there weren't these people that had problems. It's that sometimes you need a connector to make, make the two meet up. Sometimes it takes just a conversation, which is what it took in some of these cases. Uh, I, just, I just found the simplicity of that, of t taking on a problem that most people see as almost unbeatable something you can't possibly solve and going out and doing nothing more but lining the people up looking for a solution with a solution that's most likely fitting for them. There's something to that. Uh, everyone that I know in life that really goes far are the people who can connect a problem with a solution. A person with a problem to a person with a solution in most cases. And so if you want to find a way to be unbeatable, if you want to find a way to make a difference in this world, be a connector. The connectors are what really make it happen. 
and the best type of businesses and business systems are those that are connecting people to the solution of their problem. So simple idea, but something that it kind of it kind of touched me in the in the way that it was applied to the uh, homeless epidemic. So hopefully that's helpful to you. I uh, well one of the things that I I do is I show people how to use content marketing to solve their problems. So a lot of times it comes down to standing out. How do you stand out from your competition? How do you show up in a completely different way? I talked about it in my book, Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business, but I wanted to go more in depth for people who wanted to really look into content marketing, doing the type of things like this, doing a video or an audio podcast, uh, doing a blog, doing any of the offline forms of content marketing. It's all available to people most of us don't know where to start. So I, I put together a course specifically for the person that's just curious of whether it's right for them or not, whether it's right for them, their business, their cause, go check out my course. It's, it's, you can find it at contentmarketingquestion.com. Contentmarketingquestion.com. That what's the question? The question is, should we even do content marketing? That's the question we're gonna answer. If you don't get that answered, by the end of the course, you'll get your money back on it. But go check it out. See if it can if it can be helpful to you. That's all I got for today. You have a good one. We'll be back tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.